All right, let's write variable equations to represent. When we talk about variables, that's just a fancy way for saying a missing number, okay? And as you get older and you get into different types of math, you're going to see, instead of seeing a problem written like this, one times blank equals seven, or like this one times question mark equals seven, or one times fill in the square equals seven, you're going to start seeing variables. And variables just are any letter that are put there instead of a number. Okay, so Samantha likes to count the trees in her neighborhood. If six trees are cut down and there are now five trees left, which equation represents this? So again, if there were six trees cut down, that means we're taking away six trees and now there's five trees left. Okay, so I have the first part of my equation. I just don't have this. I don't know what I started with. So I put an X there. So my equation is X minus six equals five. That's the equation that we're looking for. We're not actually solving the equation. We're just figuring out what equation needs to go in there. A mother has married off seven children and still has six children living at home. Which equation represents this? Okay, so she has married off seven children. So if she has seven of her children married, does that mean they're at home or they're gone? They're gone. So seven children are gone. Okay. But she still has six living at home. So there's six left. Do we know based on the problem how many she has in all? No. So we put a, an X there. Okay. So we have x minus 6. So we have x minus 7 equals 6. All right, next one. If you have seven brownies left after you gave six brownies away to your friends, what is the equation that represents this? Okay, and you see that I'm underlining and marking my key words and key numbers, okay? That's all to help, okay? So take a moment and think about what do you think my equation might be, okay? Well, I have seven brownies left. So that means I have seven left. That's my total remaining. I gave away six. So am I adding six or am I subtracting six? subtracting six. But does it say in the problem how many brownies I started with? No. So that's where we put the x. So x minus six equals seven. Isabel spends five hours per day pruning a bonsai tree over x states for a total of 10 hours and five hours per day of pruning. Use an equation to express the total number of hours spent pruning. There's a lot of numbers here. I see fives, I see x, I see 10. Okay, so let's look at it again. We're looking for an equation to express the total number of hours spent pruning, okay? So she has five hours per day, okay? We need to know over X amount of days, what would give us 10 hours. This five hours per day, we already have that up here, okay? So it's repeating. Okay, so let's look at our information we have underlined. Five hours per day over X amount of days for a total of 10 hours. So a total of 10. Okay, and we have five hours over an X amount of days. So it's multiplication because she does the same amount every 
day. Okay, so a barista is making X cups of coffee in nine hours. So there's three cups per hour. Okay, so we know our answer is three. All right, so we need to know how many cups of coffee in nine hours. So that would be, because we want to break it down into a smaller amount, because it's three cups per hour, okay? So that means we have to get smaller. So it's either division or subtraction, okay? We're breaking it down to the same amount. So that was our answer. A barista makes X cup of coffee in three hours, resulting in two cups per hour. Which equation best represents this? Okay, so this is like our last problem. X cups of coffee in three hours. And then there's a total of two cups per hour. So that means my answer is two. Okay, I have X cups over three hours. Okay, so... Again, my answer has to go lower, so I'm not adding and I'm not multiplying. So it's either x divided by 3 equals 2 or x minus 3 equals 2. Well, we're splitting it up evenly, equally. So that means that we are dividing. So it's x minus 3 equals 2. Next one. Someone has spilled all x pencils into a giant pile. Brayden knows that pencils come in boxes of nine, and there were seven boxes. Which equation represents this? Okay, so we have X amount of pencils, and they come in boxes of nine. So we need to split them up, because then there will be seven boxes. So we have a total of X pencils split into boxes where there's nine in each box. So there's seven boxes. So X divided by nine equals seven. Next one, Logan is a weightlifter and can lift eight kilograms in a deadlift. To be considered strong, he must be able to lift 10 kilograms. How many kilograms does he need to add to his deadlift to be strong? Okay, so we know that he needs to be able to add a total of how many? 10 kilograms. How many can he currently lift? We know he can currently lift eight. We need to know how many more. We need to know how many more he needs. So we need to add on a certain number to figure it out. So 8 plus x equals 10. Next one. McGruff the dog loves to bury his bones. To date, he has buried seven bones, but then buries x more. So there's a total resulting in nine bones buried. Which equation can McGruff use to calculate how many bones he has buried? Okay. Well, he had seven bones buried, okay? Then he buries X more. Hmm, does that mean we're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? Okay, well, let's come back to that. And then there's a total of nine bones. So what does it make sense? We know the number's going up, so it can't be subtraction and it can't be division. But looking at multiplication, is there a number times seven that gives me nine? Is that possible? No, but I can't add a number. So this should be addition, seven plus X equals nine. Let's do one more. If Anthony has three chicken nuggets and he steals, he steals X from his brother, 
resulting in five nuggets, which equation expresses this? When we say resulting, that means equals. So he has a total of five in the end. He started with how many? Three. If he's stealing, what is he doing? He's adding nuggets to his amount. So it's three plus X equals five. Great job with these equations.